Welcome to the ultimate reset video for the Samsung Galaxy. This is the A16 5G. Looks like this. Make sure we're talking about the same phone. In today's video, we are going to learn how to do a remote reset from any computer in case your phone is lost or stolen or your buttons stop working. Then we're going to do a regular reset, and then we're going to do a reset where you've forgotten your PIN pattern or password. Please watch to the end because I have a free gift for you. All right, let's get the bad news out of the way. Okay, if you are resetting your phone and you come to this screen and you've forgotten your PIN pattern or password, and then you come to this screen and it makes you type in your Google account and you don't have your Google account, there is no bypass. All of those videos where it's like, type in the secret code, hash pound hash, 69420 hash, those are all fake. Your phone is locked, there is no bypass. So you'll have to sit down with a cup of tea and try to remember your pin pattern and password. All right, let's move on to the second most popular. On some phones, on some models, uh, Samsung has rolled out an extra degree of security where to reset, if you try to reset your phone with just the buttons, it won't work. It'll just reboot the phone. You actually have to connect your USB-C to, to then uh, USB to any computer or laptop and then do the button combination. So if your phone, if you're following the instructions to reset your A16 5G and it's not happening, try this next. All right, let's move on. All right, most people don't know that you can remote reset your Samsung Galaxy. So let's go to my computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, on your computer, type myaccount.google.com and then your Google account will come up. And then it's really easy. Just go to devices and then it's going to tell you if you're logged into your Google account on computers or phones. In this instance, let's go to the A16 5G. I'm going to click right here and then it's going to tell you you have some options, sign out, find device, don't recognize something, that's some security. But in this instance, we're going to click on find device and that will help us remote factory reset. Here we go. All right, when you touch it, it's going to bring up your map and it will give you the exact location and it'll give you these options here. You can play a sound like if you've, <laughs> if you've lost your phone in your house, it'll play a sound and then you can secure the device. And in this video, we're talking about the factory reset device. So you click on factory reset device and then this screen comes up. Please, you know, if you're in an emergency, your phone's lost or sold in, or, you know, your buttons have stopped working and you need to go um, turn your phone in or upgrade it or recycle it. This is the way that you do it. And you follow the instructions here and please read and understand all those instructions because it will erase your phone. All right. And that's how you factory reset your device remotely. All right. Let's move on to a regular factory reset. Regular factory reset. Let's power the device off. Power off. Power off. And with the device power off, there's no extra side buttons here. So all we're going to do is hold volume up and power at the same time. Volume up, power. Hold, hold, hold. And as soon as the Samsung logo uh, comes up, you will let go. And in just a few more moments, it will bring up the Android recovery menu right there. At the Android recovery menu, make sure we can read all the information here. All right, pause right here and read that. If your phone is reset, you'll need to enter your Google account information, email address, and password associated with this phone to be able to use it again. Please understand that. It's going, it's going to require that. All right, let's move on. We're going to use power for OK. And then in this screen, pause and read this. It's going to wipe all user data. All information is going to be erased on this phone. And we'll press one more time for factory data reset. Press power for OK. And then as soon as you see the data wipe is complete, it is safe to reboot the system. All right, and let's move on now. The next chapter is going to be how to reset your A16 5G if you've forgotten your PIN pattern or password. Now, what happens if you have forgotten your PIN pattern or password, you have the incorrect PIN, and you, now you need to reset the phone? And this is what happens when you try. You go to turn your phone off to reset it. Power off, power off, but it still requires your PIN pattern or password. All right, let me teach you how to get by this. All right, to bypass your screen lock, all we're doing is bypassing the screen lock. We're not bypassing the FRP protection. We are going to hold volume down and power, volume down, power. Keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. And we're waiting for the phone to power off here. Right there, switch to volume up and power now. We see the Samsung logo and let go. And now we'll see the Android recovery menu. You have to be kind of quick and exact with your fingers. It might take you a couple of times. But here we are. We're at the uh, Android recovery menu. All the same rules apply when you go, come down here to factor, wipe data factory reset. You still need to understand that you need your Google account to log back into your phone. Press power for OK. And you need to understand that it's going to erase absolutely everything on your phone. One more time, wipe data, factor, factor data reset. And then once again, we can wait for the data wipe to be complete. And now it's safe to reboot the system. 
Most popular videos on my channel are help, I've forgotten my pin pattern and a password, or help me reset my phone. And that's why I've made this. It's called the phone information record. And whenever you get a new phone, and especially if you're helping out like your kids or grandma and grandpa or people that seem to forget their pin pattern and a password, this is why, who I made this for. You write out your name, you know, or you take care of grandma and grandpa's phone, date, phone information, you know, Samsung Galaxy A16 5G. And then your Google, your main email that you set up that phone with, you write it here. Okay, and then if you're a pin, pattern, or password person, there's space for your pin, space for your password, and then if you're a pattern person, S for start, F for finish, and then you write out your password or your pattern, however it is. And then most importantly, you put this piece of paper, store it securely, where you can have access to it in the event that someone forgets their pin, pattern, or password. Let me show you where to get this document. At jasonclements.gumroad.com, and then all of that, and then this comes up, how to never forget your pin. And there's the document here. And I don't need to convince you that, you know, your password or your pin pattern or password is as important as oxygen. You absolutely need it on your phone. And when you go to buy it, I mean, the price that I have here, if you want to tell me thank you uh, for helping you with your phone, you can pay the full price. Or if you just need it for free, just type in zero and you hit, I want this. And it's as easy as uh, just a quick download. And then you have that document for your kids or your grandparents or for yourself. How to never forget your pin, pattern, or password. Hey, if this video has helped you, please like, please subscribe. And please download this free document as my thank you to you. Thanks for watching.